next year's government budget 2021 should be viewed from economic growth perspective, not necessarily from the point of view of fiscal consolidation. So this has to be viewed from improving the people's economic welfare and especially the livelihood of the people. So there seems to be some kind of a deglobalization, meaning the less uh, international trade and investments, thus regarding the growth prospects of Sri Lanka as well as many other countries. So therefore, the government budget can be used as a tool and an approach to put in place a system to mobilize land, labor and capital. As you know, we have the arable, uncultivated agriculture, land and also the unemployed youth. Those two can be put in right proportion along with the capital, much needed banking finance facilities as well as equity to improve the economic activities and thereby we should be able to increase the economic welfare of the people addressing the livelihood of the people. So it is truly a people-centric growth strategy. Thank you.